Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is April the 7th, 2022. And before I jump into things here, I want to talk about the links in my description. Obviously, I have a Patreon account with a variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. And I'm also still selling packs of New Capenna for the Collector Booster Box breaks that I will be doing on this channel later this month. So if you'd like to be a part of that, check my pinned comment down below. And here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis. So thank you all very much. And now with that being said, let's get moving. Starting the losers list off today with Cryptic Command from Modern Masters. This card is down 5.79% today from $21.06 to $19.84 on the market and its average price right now is $19.04. Our next loser on the list is a revised dual land, and it also happens to be a reserve list card. It is Volcanic Island, and this reserve list dual land is down 11.24% today from $739.50 to $656.37 for its market price, and its average price right now is $775. Now, I don't expect this price to hold too long. It's obviously based on recent sales, and I'm sure the price will bounce back up probably by the end of the week. Next up on our loser section is Bear Umbra from Commander 2018. This card is down 11.88% today from $10.35 to $9.12 on the market. And its average price right now is $10.01. Next up on our loser section is Mantle of the Ancients, and this is the extended art version of this card from Commander Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. This card is down 11.93% today from $8.72 to $7.68 on the market, and its average price is $8.32. Bountiful Promenade from Battle Bond. This dual land is down 12.70% today from $21.41 to $18.69 on the market and its average price is $19.99. Next loser on our list is Sakashima of a Thousand Faces from Commander Legends. This mythic is down 12.98% from $20.72 to $18.03 on the market, and its average price is $21.88. And we've got Divine Visitation from Guilds of Ravnica. This enchantment is down 13.14% today from $9.82 to $8.53 on the market and its average price is $10.18. Our final loser of the day is Protean Hulk from Masters 25. This reprint is down 14% today from $7.43 to $6.39 on the market and its average price is $7.49. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with Tower of Magistrate from Mercadian Mass. This land is up 6.64% today from $15.82 to $16.87 on the market. And its average price right now is $17.77. Our next winner of the day is a card that was on our list yesterday, a reserve list card from Weatherlight, Bosium Strip, and this card is up again 10.60% from $9.53 to $10.54 on the market, and its average price is $29.49. Next winner is Temporal Trespass from Fate Reforged. This mythic is up 11.58% from $20.04 to $22.36 on the market, and its average price is $24. Now this card is seeing some play right now in the Pioneer format, and is it Phoenix decks as well as is it Control and some Commander decks as well, like Yuriko the Tiger's Shadow. And our next winner of the day is... Serenity from Weather Light. This card is up 12.16% from $10.61 to $11.90 on the market, and its average price right now is $19.93. Our next winner of the day is another Pioneer staple, and that card is Arclight Phoenix from Guilds of Ravnica. This mythic is up today 15.57% from $8.99 to $10.39 on the market, and its average price right now is $14.38. 
Now this card didn't have a massive reprint, but it had a small reprint in the promo packs for Throne of Eldraine, and that card is currently sitting at $7.34 on the market, and its average price is $9.95. Now this card sees a lot of play in the Pioneer format in Is It Phoenix decks as well as Is It Control. It sees a bit of legacy play in Arclight Phoenix decks as well and Jeskai Phoenix in Modern, but it also sees a bit of Commander play in Elsha of the Infinite and Vadrock Apex of Thunder decks in the Commander format. Now the next card on our list is another card that sees a lot of play in the Pioneer format and it's a Planeswalker from Innistrad Crimson Vow, Chandra. Dress to Kill. This card is up 17.93% today from $13.89 to $16.38 on the market, and its average price right now is $19.02. Now, there was a borderless version of this card released in the same set, and that card is currently sitting at $18.51 on the market, and its average price is $20.34, so very comparable to the regular copy. It also had a printing in double feature, and that card is currently sitting at $13.84 on the market and its average price is $20.03. It's seeing a lot of play in Mono Red Aggro and Pioneer as well as Mono Red Aggro in Standard and it also sees some modern play in Obosh Aggro, Mono Red Midrange, and Mono Red Burn as well in the Pioneer format. Now, the next winner of the day is an old school card going all the way back to Antiquities, and that card is Priest of Yogmoth. This card is up today 24.30% from $4.28 to $5.32 on the market, and its average price is $3.79. Now this card was printed all the way back from Antiquities, which means that it did have its print run disclosed and there is only 372,000 copies printed from that set. Now the next winner of the day is Bronze Guardian, and this is the extended art version of this card from Commander 2021. This is the one you could find in the Collector Booster Packs. It's up 27.20% today from $5.33 to $6.78 on the market, and its average price is $9.98. Now, the regular copy of this card is a lot cheaper, currently sitting at $5.47 on the market, and its average price is $5.95. Our final winner of the day is Atawara Soaring City from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This legendary land is up again, 28.47% from $9.66, to $12.41 on the market, and its average price is $10.50. The extended art version of this card is currently sitting at $15.40 on the market, and its average price is $15.17. And the borderless version of this card is currently sitting at $17.54 on the market, and its average price is $17.59. Now, this card is seeing a lot of play in standard decks right now, like Azorius Control, as well as Jeskai Control. In Pioneer decks like Is It Phoenix, Hidden Strings, and Azorius Control as well. It does, however, see some legacy play in 8-cast decks and modern blue Living End, as well as commander decks like Shurikai, Genesis Engine. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Splendid Reclamation from Innistrad Double Feature. This foil is up 64.73% today from $9.10 to $14.99. And our next foil winner on our winner's section is Searing Blaze from World Wake. This foil is up 72.47% today from $9.99 to $17.23. And the next foil winner today on our winner's list is Soulfire Grand Master from Fate Reforged. This mythic foil is up 81.73% today from $11 to $19.99. And we've got Stamina from Arcadian Mass, an old frame foil up 86.75% from $1.66 to $3.10. Next up on our foil winners section is False Memories, another old frame foil from Torment, this time up 89.77% from $2.15 to $4.08. And our next foil winner of the day is Shivan Hellkite from 10th edition. This card is up 93.15% from $6.28 to $12.13. 
Next foil winner is Sulphurous Springs from 9th edition. This foil is up 95.02% today from $44.82 to $87.41. And we've got Hand of Honor from Saviors of Kamigawa. This foil is up 119.39% today from $4.23 to $9.28. Next foil winner on our list is Sky Diamond, a 7th edition foil up 132.14% today from $64.10 to $148.80. And our final foil winner of the day on our list is Sage's Reverie from Fate Reforged. This foil is up 144.02% from $12.29 to $29.99. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could... Could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm as yes, I'm still trying to grow on this platform and all the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel. I'm really, really grateful for you guys because I'm trying to get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of this year and obviously everything you guys have been doing have really helped grow this channel. Now, let me know in the comment section, what was your favorite mover of the day? Which cards are you most surprised to see on the list and which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list i do read every single comment that you guys leave so please leave them there down below also check out my pinned comment if you'd like to be a part of the new capenna collector booster box openings i'd be happy to crack open some booster packs for you guys so please check that out also i make these videos from monday to friday so i will be back again tomorrow for another magic the gathering mark movers and until then please enjoy the rest of your day Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.